Now, as you saw in the video, um, it wasn't enough. I didn't. I wasn't comfortable putting the entire amount that I calculated into the crucible. And then I thought to myself, maybe my math is wrong. <laughs> Turns out, it wasn't. <laughs> However, let's see how bad this is. Man, this sand is stuck on it hard. You could see that we didn't quite get enough over here. Um, what I'd like to do is clean it off and machine some of it just to see how the porosity is inside. So let me, this is, here's an example of how hard these cores are after you, I guess, uh, put them through the foundry process. Hitting that with a hammer. That's why in my video, when I was talking about cores, um, the ones that just pour out are the nicest because you don't have to do this. So I'm just taking a wire brush and getting all this sand off. It's still really hot. I'm going to clean this up, I'll bring it back. Well, there she is. Um, it's still pretty hot, but you can see not enough iron, um, which I pretty much knew as I was pouring it. Um, I might just do this again with the same crucible. Now that I've done this once, I'm a little bit more comfortable pouring it. Uh, I still need to, there's still some sand just like embedded on it that I need to um, grind away or put it in water, let it soak. Let's see. Uh, ooh, still really hot. Uh, cleaned out the bore. I just ground everything. Um, like I said, I want to see how it machines and I want to see how... Uh, how porous it is inside because I didn't really do anything for um, to mitigate porosity I don't think cast iron needs as much attention as aluminum um, but you know we'll find out so I gotta get all the sand off I gotta still put it in water and then um, you know let it dry okay we're gonna see how well this machines it's not centered up or anything because I'm just going to face it. I got all the sand off of this surface so it shouldn't dull the tool. This is a carbide insert. Uh, well first, let's take off the key lock. Looking pretty good so far. I'd like to get this whole face cleaned up to see if there's any porosity. Alrighty, so, uh, <laughs> still pretty red hot in there. I'm going to let it cool overnight, actually. Uh, but, uh, as you can see, it wasn't quite enough. Again, it's pretty close. I might be able to get away with it. Uh, you know, but we'll see. I'm not really sure about this side because it's on an angle like this. So, if this side's okay, this side is not. I really need to make it more level. Anyway, 
So I think what's happening is, well, first I realized that uh, I forgot to put in this little guy, which I just threw in my iron bin here. Um, and uh, this is probably a good, oh, I'm not sure, but I mean, it's got some heft to it. So I, I didn't put in all my iron again that I measured out because I forgot this. This was just on the ground. Anyway, one thing I'm not taking into account, uh, again, that I never had to deal with was aluminum because I would just make an insane amount, right, and not have to worry about it, is the slag. Um, the weight of the iron, there's the slag right there in the scale. The weight of the iron also includes the impurities, and uh, that's going to come out as slag, which also picks up iron, uh, so you lose some. So that's about a pound of slag material. And then, uh, well, let's see here. Let's see what's that other one is. That's about half a pound. So, because I forgot this, and because of the slag, I lost 1.5 pounds of iron. It looks like you lose about, I'm going to say, 7 to 8 percent of your total weight as slag, at least from this one trial. So, uh, I think in the future, what I'm going to do is account for slag, I'm going to call it slag loss, right? So, whatever number I calculate for the weight, I need to, it's actually 90% of that, right? So I need to add more in order to get the proper number because of that slag loss. So I'm learning. I'm going to leave this overnight. I'll bring it back tomorrow and uh, we'll crack it open and see how it, how it turned out. All right, it's the next morning <clears throat> and now uh, we're going to open up this sand mold and see what it looks like. I found that for cast iron, uh, I don't know what happens, I don't know if all the moisture comes out of the sand, I mean that's probably what happens, and because I left it overnight, uh, but this, all the sand wants to fall out of the box, so I'm going to see if I can put this underneath, I'm trying to catch it. All right, <clears throat> so I think actually I could just pull this up. Oh wow, that was easy. Well, this is where we kind of had a sinkhole because there wasn't enough metal. However, I think I, I might be able to make that work regardless. I mean, because right now I just, it takes so much work to melt iron. I'm just gonna salvage what I can. It comes apart real easy when it's been sitting overnight. Wow, this is, this is still warm. What is it now? It's almost nine o'clock uh, which means uh, I left this around nine last night probably probably like 8 30 it's been over 12 hours this is still warm to the touch that's good I mean it's nice and slow cooling which means hopefully it won't be you know very hard and I can machine it easy All right, uh, I'm gonna bring you guys back once I clean this up a little bit more. So what I'm doing here, <clears throat> this is a long, tedious process, but um, so past couple times I've done this, I've noticed that with cast iron, at least with the, my sand, uh, the sand kind of like really sticks to this casting. So I'm just going along here with a screwdriver and just scraping off the sand and all the nooks and crannies and then coming in with my wire brush and then finishing it up. Um, 
I'll probably also maybe soak this in water a little bit and then dry it off quickly to get all the sand out because you don't want that sand when you're machining because it's going to really dull your tools. Um, so I'm working on this. I just got some music on uh, and just doing my thing. So Okay, I've got it cleaned up a lot. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a grinder and just grind off all these high spots and uh, you know extra iron from sand crumbling like right here and there's some around this corner and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grind as much as I can to make it look uh, as neat and finished as I can alright <clears throat> so it's all cleaned up uh, the next thing I'm going to do is work on breaking these sand cores out. Again, if I soaked it in water, which I still might do, um, it goes much easier. The sand cores get soft and they come right out. So I'll bring it back when I'm done. This one's coming out much easier than the last one. Maybe because I let it sit overnight. I don't know. Don't use a screwdriver you care about for this. Alright, I'm almost done getting the cores out. I'm using this little pick to sort of get in these uh, passageways here. Uh, the one on the bottom is giving me trouble, so I just filled this up with water enough to fill up that passage. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. Then I'm going to get in there again with this. Um, I'm going to make sure to dry it off quick because it's iron. And it'll rust. It's not a big deal, but, you know, I just don't want to, it to do that. So, just an update, I'll bring you back when I'm done. Alright guys, that'll be the end of this video. Um, so this didn't come out perfect because, again, there's, we were a little short on iron and, uh, you know, it, we got a little cavity here from the shrinkage uh, so but it's really not a big deal because um, this part is not critical at all so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mill this off um, even with these uh, cylinder parts here and then for the cavity part I'm just gonna fill it in with milliput I'm also gonna fill in all these cavities here with milliput it's like this um, this like epoxy putty that's really strong so there we go. There's the casting next to the wooden pattern. Um, so, in the next video, I'll uh, I'll probably do the milliput work and uh, finish this off even more before we do the machining. Make sure, uh, probably off camera, I'll make sure that all the sand's out. I'll probably soak it overnight. So, all right, guys. See you later. Thanks for watching.